Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea. Former preview of the Carabao Cup League Cup quarter-final against Bournemouth taking place tomorrow evening at Stamford Bridge with the kickoff being at 7.45 UK time and getting straight into it, talking about opposition Bournemouth and they're not doing particularly well in the league, are they? Especially recently, they're in 16th, just one point clear of the relegation zone with 16 points. Winning and drawing four with 10 defeats so far this season, not scoring a lot with only 15 goals, but usually not conceding too many either, to be fair, with 24 conceded goals so far this Premier League campaign. And they haven't won a game since November 18th, when they beat Huddersfield 4-0. Since then, they've had three draws against Swansea, Southampton and Palace, and three defeats against Burnley, Manchester United, which they only lost 1-0 and definitely deserved a point from. And on the weekend, they were beat 4-0 by Liverpool in a game in which I think, if I remember correctly, Bournemouth hit the woodwork twice. To get to the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup, Bournemouth beat Birmingham City 2-1 in August, Brighton 1-0 in September, and they beat Middlesbrough 3-1 in the last round in October. Now, talking about how they usually play and what their standard formation is, and they usually go for a 4-4-1-1 formation, but when we beat them 1-0 at their ground earlier on in the season, they started with a 3-5-2, so chances are they'll probably go three at the back again tomorrow but we'll obviously have to wait and see. Jermaine Defoe and Callum Wilson are joint top scorers for them with three goals. The question obviously is will they rotate and focus on staying up in the Premier League because they really need results like I said only one point off the relegation zone. On the other hand though they're playing Manchester City at the Etihad on the weekend so chances are no matter what team they field against them if we're being honest they'll probably lose their game anyway so they might start the best team tomorrow just you know thinking we're probably going to lose to City anyway let's try to get a good cup run together. All that Eddie Howe the Bournemouth manager said on the matter in his press conference is that they won't make a changes like they did in the last round but there will be a certain number of changes. Their injury concerns at the moment are left back Charlie Daniels and striker Joshua King will miss the game with injury but Callum Wilson who has been struggling for fitness recently might be available from the sounds of it though not all too likely to start the game. That's really it about Bournemouth now coming to Antonio Conte's press conference and the first thing he was asked about is if he he will continue to give young players and not so regular players like Caballero, Bachuai, Kennedy, Drinkwater, maybe Ampadu, etc. You know, if he will continue giving them a chance in this competition. And Conte simply said, yes, for sure, he will continue this way. But he also said that it's an important competition for us and that the aim is to reach a semi-final. And he confirmed specifically that Kennedy and Bachuai will start the game. He said sometimes you just have to rotate, you know, some players need some rest at some point. And the example he gave was Ngola Kante, who obviously has played the last 10 games in a row straight after returning from injury, basically. Now coming to team news, and Alonso is obviously suspended with five yellow cards. And Charlie Musonda has a little muscular problem in his groin and is out of tomorrow's game. Which is obviously a shame because, you know, he probably would have started. So, you know, he needs as much game time as he can get at the moment. So, it is definitely a shame. Conte said him and Luis are the only injury concerns we have at the moment. And also said that Morata has now completely recovered from his back problem that he had since before the West Ham game. That also made him miss the Huddersfield game. And that Morata is starting to find his top form again. Not sure whether that's talking about, you know, footballing-wise his form or just physically his form. I'm not sure. Either way. Good. And he added that youth players Callum Hudson Odoi and Dujan Sterling have been in training with the first team for the last few days and could be involved tomorrow. And also Conte said that Ampado could even start tomorrow. And to be honest, I thought there was a good chance of him starting even before he said that. But now coming to Chelsea. And obviously, with the information that Conte has given us in the press conference, it makes predicting this lineup for tomorrow a little bit easier. But still not easy, because there are still a few different ways Conte could go tomorrow. And the first question always is, will it be 3-4-3? Or 3-5-2. If Musonda wasn't injured, I would have been pretty certain that we would have gone 3-4-3. But without him, that's obviously a little bit of a different story. But let's just start in goal. And I'm pretty sure it will be Caballero. The back three, I think, will be Aspilicueta, Ampado and Ridiger. Although Kale has been rotated a fair bit recently. So maybe Aspilicueta will get another game's rest. Ridiger playing at right side of centre-back. Kale obviously on the left and Ampado centrally. Obviously, when Ampado has started for us against Everton, I'm pretty sure it was. He played in central midfield. But against Huddersfield, he came on as the central centre-back. But obviously, Luis is out injured and Christensen could probably do with the rest so I reckon Amparo is going to play centre-back. The wing-backs will almost certainly be Kennedy which obviously Conte confirmed and Zabacosta but now like I said the question 3-4-3 or 3-5-2. Conte will be rested. Conte basically said that. Drinkwater and Fabregas I'm pretty sure will start. Fabregas didn't start the last two games. Drinkwater hasn't started in a while as well but obviously if Amparo starts at centre-back and we want to play 3-5-2 we got to start by Kyoko, who has started to play better recently, but has still started all of the last four games. So I reckon we'll go 3-4-3. With then Pedro and William on the wings, and Batshuayi, like Conte said, starting up front. Hudson-Odoi will most likely be in the squad tomorrow, like Conte basically hinted. 
but it would be a massive surprise if he actually got to start on the wing. Same obviously goes for Dujon Sterling in the wing-back spot. So just to run you through it again quickly, I'm going with the 3-4-3, Caballero in goal, then the back three, I'd actually go for Rüdiger at right side of centre-back, Ampado as the central centre-back, and Gary Kale as the left side of centre-back, David Costa and Kennedy obviously as the two wing-backs, Fabregas and Drinkwater as the two central midfielders, then Pedro and William on the wings with Batshuayi up front. But I have to say I wouldn't be surprised if Bakayoko started instead of William making it a 3-5-2, being a little bit more balanced because I'm not sure how you know, defensively solid drink water and Fabregas, their pairing would be. And I'm saying Bakayoko would probably start instead of William because William played the full game against Southampton on the weekend and Pedro came off earlier. So even though Bournemouth haven't won in quite a long time and got smashed by Liverpool on the weekend, they did play really well against United and got unlucky with losing that game. So we can't underestimate them at all, especially with the changes that we are going to make. Obviously, they might make some as well, but still... We need to force our game on them, in my opinion, and make sure that they don't press their game on us, basically, because they also like to have the ball. And, you know, at home in the Carabao Cup against Bournemouth, we can't be playing second fiddle and trying to sit back and hit them on the counter. Of course, if we end up winning, I don't really mind, but I'd much rather, you know, us be on the front foot, have the ball, try to create as many chances as we can, which I'm pretty confident will happen, but, you know, just make sure that it actually happens. And if we do that, I think we'll be just fine. And my score prediction for the game is a 3-1 win. With that defence that hasn't played together like that, I doubt we'll keep a clean sheet, so that's why I'm going 3-1. And I hope Bacuai can get a goal or two, then I'd be happy because, you know, he hasn't started against Huddersfield when Morata wasn't available. And obviously, you know, Morata even was available and still it was no recognised striker on the pitch against Southampton. So, you know, once Bacuai does get the chance, obviously, tomorrow, I hope he does get a goal or two. You know, I don't think he should start ahead of Morata, you know, in a normal game when both are available and both are, you know, not particularly tired. But, you know, I still need a second striker that is happy, that wants to stay at the club and when he is, you know, needed, can actually do a good job. And he obviously needs game time to do so. But yeah, that's really it for me. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. Your predicted lineup, your score predictions and any other thoughts you have on the game, leave it down in the comment section below. Like I said, leave a like if you did enjoy the video. We massively appreciate those likes, you know, always good for us to know if you do enjoy the videos. Also, I massively appreciate it if you could check out my social media, which is lousy, you know, seven on Instagram and Twitter, as you can see over here. If you could follow me on both of them, that'd be class. And don't forget to subscribe to 100% Chelsea. Just click that button up there and you can subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching, up the chills, and I'll see you next time.